evening, everybody. I'm Jackie Kelly. And I'm Daniel Lockett. Tonight on SAB Breaking News. That's right, Daniel. We're real shocked for tonight's broadcast. Tonight we'll be reporting on Liz Dwyer's article. Want kids to become scientists? Don't arrest them for experiment. Right, you are, Jake. Kyohan Wilmot, 16 years old, was eager to find a science experiment for an upcoming skiing carnival. The carnival's goal is to get kids involved in science and technology by bringing fun experiments into the classroom. That sounds great, Daniel. Wish we had someone like that ourselves at our school when I was young lass. Apparently she had previously seen a video on YouTube featuring a reaction between aluminum foil and toilet bowl cleaner, and decided to have a go herself. Yeah, Jackie. Only problem being, instead of performing her experiment under school supervision, she decided to test out the so-called experiment behind the campus's canteen. Of course, nothing usually good happens at the back of a school canteen, and this case was no exception. After a tame explosion, the police were called, and this woman found herself in hot water. I think that might have been a little bit unconventional, to say the least. And obviously the police thought so too, because she was arrested and charged as an adult with two felonies. Indeed. Specifically, she was booked for possessing or discharging weapons or firearms at a school-sponsored event on school property. Not to mention she was promptly expelled from school and could potentially spend some time in prison. So, moving on, Jackie. This author, Liz Dwyer, just who is she and what is she trying to tell us through this article? That's a great question. Well, maybe she thinks it's just a little bit harsh and that the punishment just doesn't fit the crime. Maybe she wants to understand that we should be a little bit more open to this kind of alternative creative education. Clearly she wanted to promote the idea of encouraging kids to become independent learners to find new and interesting ways to liven up boring experiments. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. But I also think the author highlights that there may be a racial aspect to this story and she encourages us to rally the masses in support of Kira stating science is not a crime. I find this story quite shocking, having two kids myself, the youngest being, shall we say, a little bit challenging. So without question I think this punishment was too severe and the whole incident was blown completely out of proportion. Kids love to experiment, but we as a society can strain their creativity and curiosity. We need to be encouraging our kids to experiment for themselves. Yeah, I agree with you to a point. However, we all know of the terrorist threat that faces the US at the moment. Not to mention, only recently, we've had the atrocity of the Boston bombings. We can understand the concerns of the school and the police. If it's acceptable for everybody to make homemade explosive devices and justify it under scientific experimentation. Well, obviously, we as a society, Daniel, are not giving our kids enough opportunity or facilities in school to vent their curiosity in a controlled environment. And if that means we need to change things up a little bit, and so be it. And next up, rebellion at SSIS as students declare independence. More on this after the break. Yeah. <laughs> 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 